here. It's not too bad. So you live by yourself? No. Okay. Who helps you? My family. Your family? Okay. That's very good. He don't want to say that. You see, he didn't want to say that. He didn't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew the most of it. Oh, my God. And he knows that's not true. He don't even know us. But he he already knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, good to have fam, man. You don't we got to take a closer look at this, make sure this is not an ulcer under yeah, here. Yeah, that's the one. And the visiting nurse came. I got on her this morning too. I, I said, "Well, did you look at the mm -hmm. uh, So this is what I'm picking up. It's low pitch. It's monophasic. How'd you get that scratch on the top of your foot? I did kind of put my socks on this morning. My feet. Okay. I'm not picking this one up at all. There it is. Yeah, same thing. Low volume, low amplitude, monophasic. Yeah, what did you say? This one's blocked. This, this one has a significant blockage too. But I think I'm gonna get a little something here. It's very low. Yeah, it's very low. It's very low. All right, this is better. But it's not normal. So normal is three beats per cycle. He's only getting one. So there's uh, there's definitely a blockage of your butt. Oh, this nails are coming off. Look at that. Oh my God, that's gross. Oh, great. He's very non-compliant. Mm -hmm. So this, so this isn't, this is not hurting. Uh -uh. Do you have? Sydney, the whole told me I came off. Oh my god, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All he was getting ready to cut it down, and the whole thing. I'm gonna get that for that. Okay. That means you probably hit this toe on something, didn't even realize it, or the or the toe got snagged in your socks. Oh, when I you fell, I know that. I fell in the kitchen and mm -hmm. I got up and prodded, like I normally do, mm -hmm. and it stuck on the floor. When I got it yeah. up, yeah, yeah. When I turned over to get up, mm -hmm. picked my body up, and it, my toe it probably went into the floor. It happens. Uh, it happened before. Okay. How often does that happen? Is it a regular occurrence? No, I don't fall. I just fell. I mean, with the toe getting snagged. No, I just need snagged. Yeah, get caught up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely. Oh hell no! <laughs> you are not gonna be walking around in my house with no spare feet. You heard what he just said. You rolling your eyes in your head. <clears throat> Diabetic shouldn't be walking around barefooted yeah, anyway. Anyway, okay. You don't listen. He doesn't have a desire to um to to live and flourish. His desire is just to. Ask him, maybe you ask him. He might talk to you more. Because something. Yeah. So this has clearly been several months since this was all done. When did this one fall off? Uh. We went to the doctor last time. Mm -hmm. it, it, it broke off. In the office? No, not at home. At home. Right before we went there that day. Any idea how that happened? Uh, no. Uh -uh. Walking around barefoot. Okay. What you have to understand is that you're, I mean, you've had diabetes over 40 years, right? Mm hmm. 
that alone puts you at higher risk of developing foot issues, all right? Okay. And then you have poor circulation and you have neuropathy, okay? Yeah. So that's a double whammy. See, this nail is loose. Look at that, it comes right off. Oh, oh, how does he not feel this? No, neuropathy. We see that often. Oh, let me see that. Oh, my God. See, that's dried blood under there. That is gross. Oh, That's dry blood right there. Okay, let's see what surprises we have still. So you're gonna send all of that to the lab? Yeah. And they're gonna look at it under the microscope and they're gonna run DNA tests on what they see. So DNA we'll, test? Mm -hmm, on the organisms to see what they are. Oh. So we'll know the best way to take care of them. Instead of just throwing something at it. Now I'm expecting this one to come off. Yeah. This one's not really a nail anyway. Oh, really? See? Wow, that's just like some fungus. That's just, that's just dead, dead skin, basically. Ooh. The big toe's not that nail? Mm -hmm. Not yet. That's the infected toe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. See all this build up underneath the nail here? That's fungus. Yep. Fungus, that skin, all this stuff in here. All right, now we've got to look closer at the second toe. So what we need to see if there's a wound under here. Okay, so we have all this dead skin. Okay. Okay, so the wound you had here is closed, which is good. That's good news. So there's no open wound here, but I can see where there was one. Mm -hmm. Which means it's not, you okay? Yeah. Which means it's not completely healed, the skin, mm -hmm. all right? It takes months, once the wound is closed. Oh my God. You see this here? Okay. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a closed wound. Oh, it's right? right here. Yeah, so it's not infected. Now, this is just, just skin. dead skin from all the inflammation he had from when it was a wound. Mm -hmm. You can't even really see the toe from all mm -hmm. the dead skin. And we're going to fix that in a sec.
So, so, so to combat all the scaling you have, and again, this dry skin is as a result of your neuropathy, because with neuropathy comes lack of sweating and lack of normal moisture on the oh skin. Oh my God! Okay, so see, like I have on first time. Mm -hmm. Is that is that part of it? That's part of it. Oh my God! Now they didn't tell me that, but I don't mm -hmm. I just get like so, flammy. It's all right. Like I don't sweat. You know, people mm -hmm. sweat and it's coming down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, something really has to be happening for mm -hmm. that to happen to me. Yeah. So this is pure African shea butter. Very good for these issues. Okay. Very good for these issues. Pure African shea butter. Oh, where do you get that from? Uh, you can get it. You see it more so in uh, beauty supply stores than you will in like a oh. like a drugstore. But put, but all all the beauty supply stores in this area carry it. But that's to be the any beauty supply. Beauty supply? Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? African shea butter. Oh, African shea butter? Mm hmm. Okay. Shea butter. Oh, African shea butter. Uh huh. Oh, Alright. So you need to do this daily, Four not between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that, Jefferson, because he's not. Gotta do it, man. He's not going to listen to me. And then. Keep it dry between the toes. I don't want to put, put powder between your toes every day. Um, powder. He need, he wanna play us okay. That's fine. We're at the in-home healthcare, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have to start billing too. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is, I'm old myself, okay? Mm -hmm. well, it's good you got your sister here taking care of you, man. Oh my goodness. You you'll be surprised how many patients I have in this predicament who have nobody, no family around, or the family's living long away, or just can't be bothered. So having a support system is very important. Oh, he does not understand. <laughs> so what you have to understand is that you know you've had diabetes. Can you take a picture of that powder. It can be any powder. It's fine. Oh, okay. So what you have to understand is that you you've had diabetes over forty years, right? You have poor circulation and you have neuropathy, so you're pretty high risk, all right? Diabetic, which means you're at a, you're at a higher risk of amputation than most, okay. all right? So uh, prevention is key in this situation, okay. all right? Okay. Keeping your feet covered at all times, walk through the house, not barefooted, a closed house shoe, not slippers. I should videotape this. Oh, okay. Closed house shoe, not slippers. Clothes, house shoe. Yeah, where, or, where your entire yeah, foot is enclosed. Oh, okay. not, not, on, not on mean Crocs, I mean a house shoe. House shoe. Okay? All right? So you want to keep your feet protected at all times. Oh, okay. All right? After you bathe, dry it completely between your toes, put the foot powder. All right? Oh, Whenever you ha when when ev when anything pops up, you got to let me know. Like this scratch? Mm -hmm. I've seen a scratch like this turn into an ulcer in three, four days. All right, and we'll put another band-aid. We'll put a little bandage on there because it's, you know, it won't stick because it's shea butter. Okay, but uh, you know, we, we you we got you now. We got your good head start. Okay, okay. and uh, we will know what's going on with these nails in a couple of weeks. Don't call him. Call me. <laughs>